President Trump's uh, campaign chair, Rob Arlett. Great to have you on the program. I just want to pick up from what uh, my colleague John Brain said there uh, in uh, Washington. We were talking about President Trump calling on uh, the, uh, the army, the National Guard. Won't that be make things worse? I don't think so. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, in America, we are a, a country of law and order. And I think it's important that we have the National Guards, specifically the governors, call up and prepare the National Guard to ensure that the citizens of their states are kept uh, safe and sound and protected, as well as their personal property. So I think in the end, it is the right thing to do at the right time. And I do agree with President Trump. It is relevant and very important that all 50 governors in our nation uh, stand tall with their citizens of their states and do all that they can do to protect those citizens and the personal property from destruction. Because be, let's, let's be very, very clear here. These are no longer protests, but these are riots. We applaud, we suggest, and we encourage peaceful protests here in America, as does President Trump. But when it shifts and when that narrative turns into destruction and to harm to other people, that's when it stops. And when those are uh, those individuals that are breaking the law, uh, they must be held accountable uh, to the fullest extent of the law. Now, let's open this up a bit more. Um, how have the recent events in the U.S., COVID-19, those terrible, tragic numbers and the protests or, or the riots, um, as you as you're calling them, how have they affected uh, the November election? I think time will tell. I, I think in the end, I think what America is looking for from a president is a leader, somebody who's focused on results, somebody who's focusing on prosperity, i.e. their economy and providing jobs, and also peace. I believe President Trump is that person, as he's proven these last three and a half years. He is the president of prosperity. He is the president of peace, and he will ensure that the American people are protected from here within our borders and, of course, also from around the world. So I think uh, today, as you know, we have seven primary presidential elections today here in America, along with the District of Columbia. And, and I think as we proceed towards November, I think it'll be very, very clear who's the best qualified individual to continue to lead this country into the next four years and beyond. OK. And we just... And that, of course, would be President Trump. OK. And we're looking at images, uh, we were a second ago, of uh, President Trump walking uh, towards uh, a church there. Uh, and he held a Bible up in front of the church. But before that, tear gas was used on, on the press and protesters. Why? Why was that photo opportunity necessary? How does that help peace? I think it's important. I, I think in you know imagery does matter and, and uh, photos do matter. But more importantly, uh, he didn't just do that for that one second or one that opportunity. You have to remember that President Trump has has been the perhaps the most impactful president in our nation's history in recent time with regard to religious liberty. So this is not new for President Trump. I think he chose to walk across the street because it is unthinkable that a historical church. Uh, in Washington, D.C., let alone being across from the White House, was burned. And, and I think it's important that we do, uh, from our leaders, uh, have the opportunity to, pro uh, to proclaim peace and proclaim faith, and also, I think, prayer at this time of need in America. Rob Arlett, uh, Trump, President Trump's uh, campaign chair, thank you so much for coming on the show.